Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, today I have another hot sauce review for a company that I uh, reviewed uh, a hot sauce for them about a year and a half ago, and that is Flashpoint Sauces. And I reviewed their uh, Fired Up Chipotle, uh, just an awesome uh, Chipotle hot sauce. This one's got not only uh, Chipotle's in it, but habanero peppers in it as well. And it is, just like it says, a Fired Up Chipotle sauce. And they've got brand new labels check these out but the one I'm going to be doing today is their their brand new one this is called smoldering chipotle medium heat so they've uh, taken out the habaneros and uh, created a, a chipotle a hot sauce that uh, has less heat than their fired up chipotle but these are from flashpoint sauces located over in Angier North Carolina but just love the new labels on here guys really awesome and they have just won several awards they've got some mustards too that I'll be reviewing but they uh, took several awards at the recent 2018 fiery food challenge at Zest Fest in Irving Texas and this particular sauce uh, smoldering chipotle that I'm going to be reviewing today won a third place ribbon in the chipotle style mild medium hot sauce category so that is just awesome okay and uh, one reason I like their sauces so much is because they are using some uh, uh, red um, smoked red jalapeno mash chipotle uh, made by Joel Mowry of um, uh, Smoke and Jay's Fiery Foods located over near Asheville uh, North Carolina which is just awesome uh, let me go ahead and read the uh, side here. It says, we took our award-winning fired-up chipotle sauce and toned down the heat a bit. It's perfect for those looking for great flavor with a touch of heat. It goes great on grilled steak, chicken, fish, soups, or chili. So give us a try and fire up your taste buds. All right. Flashpoint sauces. Uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and read the ingredients. We start off with water, chipotle peppers, vinegar, spices and agave nectar so it doesn't have any gum in it doesn't have any artificial preservatives or anything like that they have removed that uh, so they really kind of changed things up a little bit uh, which is great so once again chipotle peppers vinegar spices and agave nectar just sweetened up with a little bit of agave which i really like that and they're fired up chipotle all right, check out this consistency. This is, uh, you know, supposed to be a kind of a more of a vinegar-based thin uh, pepper sauce, something that you're going to shake on your food, uh, shake on your grilled meats to add some awesome smoky chipotle flavor. This is not designed to be a a thick uh, hot sauce, but more of a more of a thin vinegar-based pepper sauce. But it looks like you can see some of the spices and the ingredients in there a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Now, it does come up with a flow restrictor, and I'm a big fan of flow restrictors uh, if it's needed, and a vinegar-based pepper sauce definitely needs one or you'll just make a mess. Now, what's awesome about this is you get that real natural smoke. Nothing artificial about this one, guys. You can smell the chipotles, the smoked red jalapeno peppers. You just get that awesome smoke. Uh, it really smells good. Doesn't smell vinegary, but it just has an awesome natural smoked chipotle aroma. All right, very, very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and shake this out. And as you can see, you know, it's going to come out pretty good. You just got to shake it out. Now, if you don't use a flow restrictor on a sauce this thin, it's just going to run down the neck and make a big mess. All right, here we go. Smoldering chipotle. Wow, man, rich, nice red or smoked red jalapeno flavor. The chipotle flavor really comes through nicely. Uh, it's not vinegary at all. It's not salty. It's just got a nice, just a hint of the agave nectar, just a little bit, just to sweeten it up, just a little bit, but it's not overly sweet at all. Now, there's some spices in here. Um, it didn't say garlic. Um, but it's, it just says spices, and I think I'm kind of, maybe I'm looking at some black pepper. Might have some cumin in here. It kind of tastes like it, ha it has a chili powder in it, so maybe there's some of the spices that they're using in this sauce. You can see how some of that sticks to the side of the bottle, but just a fantastic chipotle, simple chipotle pepper sauce. If you love chipotle peppers, you love that smoke flavor, uh, you're really going to dig this one, guys. 
Now, this is a type of sauce you just want to put on um, this your, your eggs in the morning, grilled meats, rice and beans, just anything you would just want to shake a smoky hot sauce on. It's going to work very, very well. So here's a picture of uh, breakfast. I put this on some fried eggs, and it was absolutely amazing. Just the perfect sauce. Uh, for eggs in the morning, so um, highly recommended. And surprisingly, the heat on this one, guys, um, I would say it's a strong three, maybe almost a four out of ten for heat. Um, sometimes jalapeno peppers, uh, they do have some heat, uh, and it really, it's a, you know, it's it's a it's approaching medium. I mean, what they say now, they're uh, they're fired up Chipotle. The one that's got habanero peppers in it. This is I think I gave this a six a year and a half ago. This is some pretty uh, fired up heat because of those habaneros in there. But this one's nice and toned down a little bit, so I'd give this one about a 3 out of 10 for heat, almost a 4, but just an awesome flavor. If you're a fan of Chipotle hot sauces, you want something all natural, no preservatives, um, no xanthan gum, uh, then this one's highly recommended, guys, from Flashpoint Sauces. All right, guys, Tony, thank you so much for sending it. I do appreciate it. Uh, guys, check them out on Facebook. Give them a like, and you can find the website at FlashpointSauces.com, a North Carolina company just putting out some awesome products. And stay tuned for uh, some uh, blazing mustard uh, review with made with scorpion peppers that did take first place, won a golden chili at Zest Fest. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that review. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more, and until the next time, Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.